All right. Now we're looking at profit and loss example. This question says find profit or loss when the cost price is 350 and the selling price is 400. Well, we always have to remember when the selling price is greater than the cost price, it is a profit. And so the profit in this case is equal to 400 minus 350. And so that works out to be $50 profit. So the profit is $50. This question right here, the cost price is 250. The selling price is 235. This is a loss. So the loss is the selling price. The loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price. And so you lose, you lose in this case, which is $15. So there's a loss of $15. Now question C, the cost price is 300 and the selling price is 375. So you sell it dearer than or you buy it. And so that's a profit. So the profit is equal to the selling price 375 minus the cost price 300, which gives us $75, which is the profit. Easy. This question right here says the cost price is $720. The selling price is 575. Now, since you buy it dearer than how you sell it, then that's a loss. And the loss is equal to the cost price 720 minus 575. And you do that subtraction and we shall get 145 and that's dollars. So that is the loss. Easy question, soft, all right. Now we're going to look at how do we find profit as a percentage. And we always find profit as a percentage of the cost price. So in this case, because the cost price is less than the selling price, we already know it's a profit. It's already a profit. So now to find the percentage profit, so the percentage profit, it is equal to the profit that we know, which the profit, which is 50, because remember profit is selling price minus cost price. So the profit would be 400 minus 350, which we know that that is 400 minus 350. So the profit we know is $50. So the profit is 50 divided by the cost price of 350. And then we multiply that by 100. That's how we find the profit. That's how we will find the profit. 50 divided by 350 multiplied by 100. And so in this case, you realize that the profit, you put that in your calculator is 14. 0.3 percent that's the profit nice and easy soft now let's look at this one now now right up here now the selling price is less than the cost price and so there is a loss of 15 dollars there's clearly a loss of 15 dollars now the percentage loss the percentage loss is equal to the percentage loss is equal to the amount that is lost, which is $15 divided by the cost price of 250. So it's 15 divided by 250. And then we multiply that by 100. 
15 over 250 multiplied by 100. That gives us the percentage loss. And so the percentage loss actually works out to be in this case, 15 divided by 250 times 100 is 6%. So there's a 6% loss right here. Let's look at this one now. So clearly we identify that the profit, I'll just use P for profit. All right, I've decided to write out the word. So the profit right here, which is a selling price minus the cost price, the profit is 75. So to find the percentage profit, so the percentage profit, percentage profit, is equal to the profit that was made, which is 75 divided by the cost price. It's always divided by the cost price. So it is 75 divided by the cost price of 300, and then you multiply it by 100 in order to get it as a percentage. So you put all of this in your calculator, 75 divided by 300 multiplied by 100, which is 25. There was a 25% profit. That's a big amount of profit right there. 25% profit, nice. Now, what we need to do now is, we have cost price is 720, seven, selling price is 575. So we need to find the percentage profit or loss. Now, this is a loss, clearly. This is a loss because the cost price is greater than the selling price. And the loss is equal to the 720 minus 575, which we know is $145. So the percentage loss, the percentage loss, percentage loss is equal to the amount of money that we lose, which was 145. It's equal to the loss divided by the cost price, the cost price is 720. And then you always multiply it by 100. You multiply it by 100. So 145 divided by 720, multiplied by 100, that gives us 20.1% loss. So that's a 20.1. 20.1% loss. That's so how we find the percentage of loss right here. Easy. Of course, now we're going to be looking at some worded problems because, as you know, generally you're going to get worded problems with it. So this question says Andy purchased 120 pencils at the rate of $2 per pencil. He sold 72 of them at a rate of $2.5 per pencil and remaining at a rate of $2. Find his profit or loss as a percentage. First, we need to find out the cost price. How much did Andy buy pencils for? Andy cost price. Now Andy cost price is going to be equal to he bought 120 pen and each pen costs $2.2, right? So let's write that down. Andy bought one pen for $2. And so that means that Andy buys the 120 pen for, it has to be $2 multiplied by 120 which is $240. So that is Andy's cost price. So the cost price is $240. Now let's find the selling price. So Andy, Andy sells, Andy sells 72 pen for, he sells 72 pen for $2.5 and the remainder so he bought 120 pen. So if he sells 72 for 2.5, he sells 72 pen for 2.5, and he sells 48 for $2. And so that means that the selling price, 
The selling price, therefore, is 72. And the selling price is going to be 72 times 2.5 plus 48 times $2. You put those in your calculator, 72.72 times 2.5 plus 48 times 2, which is $276. So that's Andy's selling price. Now Andy made a profit. Andy made a profit because look at that. The profit that he made is equal to the selling price 276 minus the cost price 240, which is $36. So Andy made a profit of $36. But we want the percentage profit. So the percentage of profit that he made now the percentage profit, percentage profit is equal to 36. That's his profit. We divide it by the cost price of 240 and then we multiply it by 100. That will give you Andy's percentage profit. So Andy's percentage profit works out to be equal to 36 divided by 240 multiplied by 100 which is 15%. So that is Andy's percentage profit, 15%. Easy, soft. All right. Now question two. Question two says, Mike sold the two horses for $18,000 each. On one, he gained 20%. On the other, he lost 20%. Find is loss, total loss or gain. So Mike sold two horses, two horses. One where he gained 18% and one, one he gained 18% and the other he gave 20%. Find his total gain or loss. Now it said that he sold two horses for 18. He sold two horses for 18 toes each. But one of them, he gained 20%. So that means that, let's set up the formula. If he gained 20%, percentage profit, so the percentage profit of 20% is equal to the profit that he made. Let's call the profit P. All right, so we're calling the profit P. So let the profit be P and the loss BL. So that means that this is what we know that the percentage profit right here, the profit that he would have made P, all right, this is the profit, 20% is equal to P over the cost price, all right? We don't know what the cost price is. All right, let's look at this example here. This example says, Mike sold two horses for 18,000 each. One, he gained 20% and the other he lost 20%. Find his gain or loss. Now, let's look at the gain one. All right, for the gain horse. For the gain horse, if you look at it, for the gain horse, he sold it for $18,000 and gained 20%. That means he sold, he sold the horse for 120% of the cost price. That's what that means. He sold the horse for 120% of the cost price. So that means that 120% which is written as a fraction as 120 over 100 multiplied by the horse price. Let's call the price of the horse X, right? Or let's call it Y, where Y is the, the cost of the horse. 120% of Y is equal to 18,000. And so we can transpose for Y 
to then say that y is equal to cross multiply the 100. So y is going to be 18,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 120. That's going to be that. 18,000 times 100 divided by 120, which works out to be 18,000 times 100 divided by 120, which is 15,000. That's 15,000. So that means he bought the, the, this horse for $15,000. So he bought the first horse for $15,000. All right, he bought the first horse for $15,000. So he bought, he bought the first horse for $15,000. That's for the one that he made a profit on. Now let's look at the one that he made a loss on. Let's look at the loss now. For the loss horse, for the one that he lost, for his loss horse, this horse right here, he would have, he, he sold it at 80% of the cost price. If he had a loss of 20%, he sold, he sold it. He sold at 80% of the cost price. That's what he did in order to have a loss. He sold it at 80% of the cost price. So that means this second horse, he actually sold it, he actually sold it for, let's call the price of it X this time. So 80% mean 80% of 80 over 100 times, let's call this one price P and that's equal to, he sold it for 18,000. And so to find this price P, to find this price P, this price P is going to end up equal to 100 times 18,000 divided by 80. So it's 18,000 times 100. And then you divide this by 80. And that is going to give you how much he bought this horse for. So it works out that he bought this horse for. We put that in our calculator. He bought that horse for $22,500. $22,500. Now, what does that mean? What that means is if he bought one of the horse for 18, he bought one horse for 15,000 and he bought one horse for 22,500. What that means is Let's write it down. So he bought one horse for, he bought one horse for 15,000 and another for 22,500. So his total cost price, his total cost price is equal to he ended up spending $22,500 plus $15,000, which works out to be, that is $37,500. That's his total cost price. Now let's find his total selling price. Now his total selling price, his total selling price is how much he sold the two horses for which is two times 18,000. He sold one for 18,000 and he sold another for 18,000. So his total selling price is $36,000. That's his total selling price. Well, it should have been 37,500. And 
And so if you can clearly look at it, we can clearly see that he had a loss because the cost price, cost price is greater than selling price. He spent more money. He spent more money. And so he made a loss. And so his loss is equal to 37,500 minus 36,000. So he actually lost, he actually lost $1,500. So he actually made a loss. And that's how we do this question. He made a loss. Easy. So he made a loss right here. Find his total gain or loss. He made a loss of $1,500. Easy. Nice. Moving.